You did find me, Cyber. Hello. <laughs> hey, happy Friday. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, Tomorrow I'm helping decorate a car for a trunk or treat, so I'm so excited. <laughs> it's like we usually participate in them, but like I've never decorated a car for one, so I'm so excited. I cannot wait for tomorrow. Hey, Mrs. Carlet. Hello, bestie. Okay, so we have two things to watch, and if we have time, we're going to go to Foodie Beauty Twitter. So Amberlynn Reed uploaded a new vlog, and in her title, it talks about gambling addiction. So if I know Amberlynn Reed, she's going to address that for like 2.5 seconds, and the vlog will be like <laughs> full of whatever else, but she'll only address that for a second. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. And then, of course, Foodie Beauty uploads a new fast food mukbang, even though she said yesterday I think was supposed to be her last mukbang, but whatever. She, I guess, got the best chicken burger in Kuwait. Hey, Steffi. So I thought we can watch Amberlynn Reed first because I'm not in a huge rush to hear Foodie Beauty's food noises. And I want to give Erin an opportunity to hang out for a few minutes because I know when the food noise happens, like she mutes and she kind of, eh, and I can't blame her. Hey, Seven Lives, good to see you. This is gonna like I'm excited to kick off our Friday night this way. I think it's gonna be fun. We're gonna watch Amberlynn Reed's new vlog, Foodie Beauty's new mukbang, and then hopefully if I don't yap too much and I have enough time, we're going to go check out Foodie Beauty Twitter. I do want to read the comment section after we watch Amberlynn Reed's vlog because her comment section is just amazing and entertaining. Satan, good to see you. Hey, Miss T. Hi, everybody. I don't blame her. The food noises really get on my last nerve. Yeah, sometimes I wonder how I even cope, but... <laughs> I just do, but I feel bad. Like, I want to give Aaron an opportunity to hang out and be part of the discussion. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, I know the food noises just are not it to her, and I can't even be mad. Hey, you guys. Okay. All right. What a place to be paused at. I don't think I would ever come on camera in a towel, but I mean, I don't know. You never know. All right. Here we go. So, this is Amber Lynn Reed's new vlog. Gambling addiction, struggles living alone, and looking for a girlfriend vlog. Ah. Hello, good morning. I woke up maybe 10 minutes ago. I already have my AirPod in my ear. I'm listening to your mama. Yes, I am. He's so cute. Anyways, I am. I'm just waiting till they turn on each other, but let's go on. I'm looking <laughs> crazy. So let's get ready for the day together, shall we? Okay, so before I shower, I brush my hair, which I already did, to get all of the knots out before I wash my hair. So I go through phases where do I brush my teeth in the shower or do I brush them out of the shower? Right now we're out of the shower phase, so I always brush my teeth. Before. So she really wants us to know she showers. In case you didn't catch on, she said like shower, I don't even know how many times in like 10 seconds. Before I shower. She did say your mom is cute. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everybody who adores him, he ends up turning on and then like tea will be spilt. So don't even worry. I, I, I'm not even. All right. Shower is completed. If anyone's wondering, which no one is, I use Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. I'm surprised she fit in that shower though. And I'm not trying to be mean. I didn't think there was any way. Shower is completed. If anyone's wondering, which no one is, I use Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. Love it. And now to keep my skin super soft, I use Cetaphil. It's moisturizing cream. Okay, so now that I'm dry and my ears dry, I could put my earbud back in. I usually keep this on my head for about 20 minutes. I'm actually about to do my makeup. First up. She really wants us to know that she's adulting now. She's brushing her teeth, she's showering, and here's our proof is foundation dewy and smooth fit me foundation which is my favorite next step is my eyebrows i just use some elf stuff that i've used literally for years okay so here we have everyone's favorite part my eyeliner which i use um elf. everyone's favorite part elf liquid eyeliner which is also my absolute favorite 
So next I'm just adding some NYX glitter on my eyes, which every time I wear this stuff, you guys always ask, what is that? I get DMs off the yin yang. Is that even a saying? It's this little guy. Off the yin yang. Right here. And yes, I do need to fix my nails. I know. Next step is I use e.l.f. blush putty, which I love. And by the way, I looked up what up the yin yang means because I swear I've heard it before. You said off the yin yang. Or and it means in large amounts. So it's not something I just came up with. Because sometimes I'll say something and I'm like, have I said that? You didn't come up with that. That's been around for a very long time. Before, have I heard that from someone? Did I make that up? You guys know like situation type deal. Like I made that up. But I've said it so much and now like other people say it to me. That I am like, did I start something? Did I start a revelation? A revolution? <sighs> Wait, are you okay? Were you drinking in the shower before this? I should go back to bed. So yeah. for mascara, I use Maybelline Lash, Sen Lash Sensational. Oh my god, it's a mouthful. Next is some lip moment type deal. Okay. There's a little kitty on it. Isn't it cute? So this is Winky Lux in the color Kiss and Tail. It was kind of cute though. Which... It's not tell as in T-E-L-L, -L, it's tail as in oh, okay. T-A-I-L, because it's a cat. Get it? Okay, so this has been on for a little longer than I would like it to. Okay. So, obviously, she's still wet. I do not brush my hair when my hair is wet. That's a... Okay, but why are we in our bra on this vlog? We can definitely move on to a shirt. Like, you can put on a shirt now. No, for me. I just noticed from my experience, it takes out a lot of my hair. I'm also not going to crimp it. I'm not going to straighten it. I'm not going to do anything with it because I have been using heat on it almost daily. Today, she's just going to be all natural. So, I already chose what I'm going to wear. Um, I did it last night and I just sat it right here. So, and then the hangers that I'm not using, I just have on the other side of my closet that I put right there. Okay, so I'm about to do, do deodorant. Um, Dove in... Seven Life said smoking in the boys' room, but Amber's drinking in the shower. I kind of believe I've drank in the shower before. Quite often, actually. Coconut and pink. In fact, I just took a shower sometimes to be able to drink in the shower. Jasmine scent, which is like my favorite. No, I'm just putting on my daily... Steffi said she's trying to learn yo mama to be her next wifey. I believe it. I believe it. Hoop earrings because it's literally what I wear every single day. I don't know why, I just love them. And then we have my daily choker, and then also the ring that I've been liking to wear every day as well. All right, so perfume of the day is gonna be some Billie Eilish. So I'm about to touch. I really like how she set up her perfumes and bookshelf. I don't know why, and it's not something like I would ever think to do, but it looked really cute. Drinking in the shower is a thing. It is a thing. Yeah, it is. I did it all the time. The shower, the bath, the pool. I drink a lot in water and near water. A lot. Touch up my nails because they look horrible. This is what I've been using. The brand is Essie in the color After School Boy Blazer 795. I never said I was a professional, but there we go. I'm just glad your nails are finally done because it was driving me nuts. Okay, so I just walked Twinkie. I got some packages. This is going to be my first Amazon haul in this apartment, even though um, these are these are things that I actually need. So we have a box and a bag. And I also ordered um, some food. I have this cage. Why are you wearing sunglasses in the house again or inside again? When I used to wear sunglasses inside, um, I was definitely trying to hide my eyes. In a restaurant last night, and it was so good. So I was like, girl, I kind of want that again. So, all right. So the first thing I got from Amazon is I have been seeing this. Why do I still have my sunglasses on? I literally forgot. <laughs> okay, so I've been seeing this everywhere. It's the uh, His Smile Color Corrector Serum is what they call it. Um, it's for your teeth. and every Oh, that purple toothpaste? Everyone just swears by it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this ad literally everywhere. I have. I have. In fact, I see it so much. It's annoying. But I wonder if it actually works. So I will try this and I will maybe even film it for you guys to see, like, does she actually work? Because you guys know I'm not going to be lying to you. And ads do lie. And then in here. 
Um, I don't know that you won't be lying to us. I needed a new pair of flats and I personally love their flats. So I just got a black pair because it goes with literally everything. So that's all I got. It's just two things I needed. Toothpaste and shoes. All right, so here's what I got. You guys, this is so good. It's called like a seafood e toffee. I don't even know. Etouffee. And it comes with- I don't know, but the things you guys eat sometimes, you and Foodie Beauty, I don't know. Maybe I just like color in my food and dishes. Rice, you just like eat it together. Miss T said that their friend used the toothpaste and said, yes, it works. I've been wondering. Now I'm going to have to buy some. Like that. So let's take the first bite together. Wow, this is so good. And it's spicy, very spicy. And I love spicy. So it's like, I also love just comforting food. And this is comforting to me. Mm. Okay, so I'm in the middle of doing laundry. I'm now just transferring. Now we have to listen to Amberlynn Reed moan over food too. To the it does look like baby food dryer i don't know about y'all but like these samsung washer and dryer moment situation type deals they're squeaky is that normal because if no if it's not normal i need to let the apartment know so i actually just post on instagram for you guys to ask me some questions because i feel like there's a lot of like hot questions i usually put the dryer sheets first but for some reason, I forgot. All right, wet clothes and dryer sheets. We are ready to rumble. That's not normal. Yeah, it's either, either overloaded or it sounds like something might be stuck maybe in the filter, like the trap. I don't know. Are you okay? I don't think that's normal. It's not normal at all. And I've been purposely doing small loads, thinking maybe like I was doing too big of loads, which I know that I'm not. Like it's only like halfway full. I think you need to do smaller loads because like your clothes are a lot larger than the tip. Of, I'm not even saying that to me mean like you're doing something like you effed it up or something. I don't know. I don't know. It almost sounds like when somebody puts like shoes in the dryer. That's what it sounded like. She was in the dryer to me. I don't know what she's doing, but it's definitely not normal. It sounds like too, you know, when your washing machine gets off track, when you overload it and it bangs around, that's kind of what it sounds like too. And it makes that noise. That can't be normal. I'm definitely going to contact the apartment. I know that there's maintenance for a reason. I just hate bothering people. It's like this weird thing up here. Okay, you guys, so like I said, I had you guys ask me some questions, so let's answer some of them. What's the most difficult part of this move? Honestly, the hardest part for me is the first 20 minutes to like an hour when I first wake up in the morning, especially the first like three minutes of waking up because I'm just hit with this like wave of just like heartbreak, depression, loneliness, like the worst feelings you can feel. And it's heavy it's like morning every single day well you you need to get into therapy you need to it's time she prefers to only bother people she calls wifey wear yourself on camera anytime soon yes i will because i haven't even weighed myself since you guys saw my last video oh, okay it's about time does going to bingo and the casino feel addictive to you no not at all if i'm being honest bingo is kind of boring and I could never go to a casino for the rest of my life and totally be fine. So things like gambling for me, I just, it's not an addictive thing for me at all. So we don't have to worry about that. Did you? But do you think it's good for you and your mom to be doing together when there's definitely other things you could be doing like Zumba, like going to a Zumba class, you could get some exercise workout. You clearly like to dance. You do it on TikTok. Like there's definitely healthier options than gambling money away and it might not be a problem now it might not be a problem right now like you right now if you stopped and you never went to a casino again I believe you could do that but if you guys continuously keep going and making that a habit I think it could become a problem for you and I don't think two people who maybe struggle in recovery should be hanging out at casinos but like who, who am I to judge 
I'm just saying if it was me personally, I would find better things to do with my mom. But that's just me. Did you buy that wallet for your mom? See, and that question made me feel bad because no, I didn't. Should I have? My mom works really hard for her money. So she's very just like, I'll pay for my own stuff. You don't have to worry about me type deal. Like she's that type of woman. So no, I did not buy her the wallet. Are you looking for a girlfriend right now? No, I want to be single. I don't want to be in a relationship. It's not something. Who believes this? Who believes this? something that like I'm looking for which is crazy because it's like I feel like I've always been in a relationship or just like looking for one and right now I'm like no there is some love life drama behind the scenes that I'm not going to talk about things that I do deal with um on a day-to-day -day basis which could probably seem confusing now that I've even brought it up will we eventually meet mama Lynn and does she want to be on YouTube I hope so my mom is super camera shy. I've asked her if she's ready to be on camera and she's not, but she does like to talk a little, wave at you guys, whatever it may be, but she's not ready to like be on camera. Do you have any? Keep her off social media. I know she's been on your channel before, but like I would keep that off YouTube. Like especially, I don't know, online can be so rough and like people can be really mean sometimes like deservingly sometimes not and i don't know i just don't know if you should have your mom on your channel i don't know how many struggles living alone i genuinely don't think so like i'm standing here trying to think of something i can't think of anything like i'm capable of living on my own i've said that for ever now i think my main are you though in struggle and the hardest part has just been waking up alone and having to remind myself every day like 50 first dates that movie with drew barrymore and adam sandler which i love i just feel like every day i wake up i have to remind myself that i'm not waking up to the person i was with you know you need to change your <laughs> frame of mind stop thinking oh i'm waking up alone by myself you know how i wake up in the morning grateful that I don't have to share my bed and blankets and pillows with anybody else unless my daughter chooses to sleep in bed with me that night. I get to wake up sprawled out. Well, it depends because sometimes my chihuahua has me like on the edge of the bed, but I'm so grateful. I don't have to listen to anybody snore. I don't have to get kicked in the middle of the night. <laughs> if I want to wrap a whole ass blanket around me, I can. You just need to turn things into a positive. You stay stuck in the negative so much. It's the person I loved. I'm not waking up to hug them or see them or laugh with them. Like that's just been the hardest part. So there are four more questions that I will not be answering, but these are questions that I will be talking about in the near future. But I just want to like let you guys know what it is. So these are the four questions that you guys will officially have answers to. Have you ever been asked to be on a reality TV show? What was the psychologist you said you were going to? that specialized in something. What couldn't you tell us during your weight loss surgery journey that you can share now? And what was the thing that you were going to tell us once you moved? So all of that uh -huh. is going to be answered soon. There's just no way, because most of this is like story time-esque. So there's no way. Okay, but you should have just done it in this vlog because this was kind of a snooze fest. Way I can answer all four of these questions in this video. I know this video was more low key. That's really what I was aiming for with this one, but I hope that you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, bye. Okay, thanks for the smooch. Thank you. All right, I thought we could read some comments really fast, and then we will go to the dreaded foodie mukbang. Actually, maybe we should pop by Twitter really fast. A lot of people on Twitter were talking about how Foodie Beauty thinks if she keeps rewording things and like talking about terms of service in a way that like benefits her, that it makes it not a binge. But people were calling her out, and it was kind of interesting. Okay, I think we're on top comments. So Susan said her fans treat her like she is literally, okay, I'm not gonna read that. Um, Astrid said, or Astrid said, my great grandpa also swore he never had any problems going to casinos, but he still managed to make my family go from wealthy to broke AF. And I don't think she thinks about that. Like addictions sneak up on you and pff, they're expensive once they do and you will lose everything to it. And right now, gambling might just seem like a fun thing to do with her mom. A year from now, it could be a full-blown addiction and she's lost everything, you know? Ma Millie Harry said that said, 
Gambling isn't addictive for me is what everyone says. No one is addicted from day one. You have an addictive personality. Everything is addictive. You will 100% become addicted to gambling if you continue going, even rarely. I like that comment. Okay. Bubble said, a great way you and your mom could spend time together is by maybe going to a Zumba class at a gym since you've made dancing videos at home before. Spending time together in a positive way plus reaching your health goals. I love that comment. And it has now 238 likes. Yeah, why do they have to do unhealthy things together? There's so many things out there they can do that doesn't have to involve gambling or something that's like triggering or feeding an addictive personality. There's so many things they could do together. Okay, let's see. Rhythm said, you guys know I'm not going to be lying to you. Literally all she has done for the past 10 years. Rhoda said, moving and going through a change is hard, scary, and frustrating. But also, but I also think it's good. It's like a renewing yourself. There's nothing wrong, <clears throat> excuse me. There's nothing wrong living alone right now. It gives you a chance to figure out what you want out of life and a relationship. And it's great you are by family because you need your family to get through the difficult times. This time will give you a time of self-reflection and being able to not have someone you need to depend on. You are as strong and fierce, or you are strong and fierce, and you can and will get through anything. I wish you the best in all your endeavors. Well, that was a nice comment. All right, Texas Ninja Returns says, Amber has to prove she showers. Chronically, Rena says, I'm capable of living on my own. ALR quote of the year. Do you like my vest set? Yes, his smile. Amber, just say you love the stupid sunglasses and want everyone to see them because you're absolutely not continually forgetting about the sunglasses. That's the unnecessary shit you don't need to do. Will you ever just stop the unnecessary lying? No? No. Okay. Blooper said, people she never gave an apartment tour once in three years she lived in Kentucky. Just imagine half the size with no patio. Yeah, because people keep asking for a tour. I'd want a tour as well, but ReceptorCon said, probably one of her best vlogs, hands down. Spicy Kimchi said, I cannot believe we're watching someone do basic human functions. Somehow expected no more from her. Maddie said, I love how every video's title is something she mentions for like literally 10 seconds. Okay, CB said, I hope you come to realize there may be a point in time when you're unable to find another person to date. You're ve you very well may end up alone for the rest of your life. You come with too much baggage and people your age know how much your health will potentially cost in both time and money. No matter how much you make, your body will hinder your dating potential more and more as time moves on, especially someone who wants to do things in life, such as going on walks, let's see, traveling, etc. It's harsh, but true. And I'm going to like that comment. All right, you guys, let's head over to Foodie Beauty's mukbang. Give me one second and I will pull it up. I'm sorry, Aaron. I know this part is going to be rough for you. So just mute and hang out in the chat. That's my best advice. If you can't handle the food noises, just mute and hang out in the chat. And if I, if we get through this in enough time, we're going to head over to Foodie Beauty Twitter. So I just want to remind you, I think yesterday, didn't the title say something along of like, last fast food mukbang. It was either yesterday or the day before. All the days blend in with her. And yet we're back to another foodie beauty mukbang. It was a lot of truth, but it needed to be said. And I don't think she reads her comments, but I hope she sees that comment. I do. All right. So this is foodie beauties. The best chicken burger is in Kuwait. All right. I'll take your word for it. Special shout out. Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is... You know what? I'm going to speed this up, you guys. Do you want it really fast or... 
I'm wondering what we should do. All right, I'm going to speed it up to this right now. If you want it faster, let me know, and that's not a problem at all. Request a personalized video or direct message from you. Hey, PQ. On Cameo. It's super easy. Cameos also make great birthday or special occasion oh, gifts. Oh, shut up. Mouse. They <laughs> or special occasion get turn your house. There we go. What do you do, you freaking mouse? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> you look cozy. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. gosh. Well, goodbye. Welcome. welcome, welcome. I have fast food. I know I'm like, I'm trying to stay away from fast food. I'm trying. That's so much food, and those burgers are the size of her big old head. Too. Today, obviously, I'm failing at that attempt. <laughs> um, so, here we go. I'm just going to eat with you guys my dinner. This is a meal deal. We ordered, like, uh, they have really good deals right now um, at Knife Chicken. So, this is local Kuwaiti, fresh from the Kuwaiti Farms chicken um, uh, fast food place. So, I think I ate, I don't know if I ever ate this with you guys. Maybe once. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Hi, baby girl. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> so I have a large Mirinda. I know the cup is, you know, Pepsi, but it's actually Mirinda, which is Kuwait um, soda. I just want to remind you really fast. She'll say all of this food isn't a binge, but I think a binge is considered eating a large amount of food in a short amount of time. And that's a lot of food to me. That would take me hours to finish that, but I just don't eat like that. And she ate this much in 22 minutes. So I mean, is this considered a binge? And she thinks if she makes community post rages and informs us that YouTube isn't professionals and they can't say it, yada, 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 she'll never get in trouble for it. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't be so sure, foodie. Orange soda. I have Two, it comes with two knife. No, 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 no. <laughs> two knife crispy chicken burgers. I have my pickles. I have my cat here. <laughs> I have some Thousand Islands dip, some fries, and some mozzarella sticks. So let's dig in. Bismillah. Oh, and I have roast. It just reminds me. Sorry, I'm going to say this and I'm going to let her talk for a bit. It just reminds me of like the alcoholic who had gone an X amount of time without drinking and is and is now trying to manage six beers a week or something. But it's not a relapse. It's not a relapse. Because if they were relapsing, they'd be drinking a case a night. You know what I mean? Like, it just, the excuses are just familiar. Rose Habib, uh, which is rice pudding. All right. So I'm just actually going to put one of these away for now. You know, they're very heavy and very big. So... I don't know. I got the spicy ones. And I'm just going to put... You said it. They're heavy and big, so why do you need two? She has a backup chicken sandwich. Literally. <laughs> going to put some ketchup on this plastic thing. For my furs. All right. I can't wait to dig in. Baby gal. No, baby gal. You have your own food. Stop. Go eat your butchers. Nobody wants to see your cat ears, or maybe they do. You are cute. Okay. We have a cheese stick. Probably not no cheese bowl after this point. Oh. Oh my gosh. Out. Go back in there. Go back from whence you came. Mmm. They have like a seasoned breading. They're good. Oh, okay. We're back to describing food. So she's covering her butt so she doesn't get in trouble. Fries are delicious. Better than McDonald's. I don't know what herb this is, but it's good. Aren't you supposed to be a foodie? Foodie? People are like, your pickles look like um, beans. They're actually, I think, Lebanese cucumbers. That's why. <clears throat> oh my gosh. What in the... Wow. It's just so much salt. Half a jar of pickles, right, Agriff? All of that cheese, breaded stuff, grease, all that salt on fries. Like, it's just so much crap. So much crap. It's, it's not good for her. You know what? I know there's a channel who 
who is it you guys i want to say it's sansa cooks i'm going to keep a lookout for that video and we might watch it together like on a late late stream either tonight or tomorrow but i think there's a channel who goes over the calories that she eats during mukbangs and i'd be really interested like i never really i just assume it's a lot like i don't need to know the exact amount but i feel like it's going to be outrageous for this her blood pressure has to be through the roof which is why she looks so red and almost like flushed and white and yellow sometimes i remember um I used to have to be on blood pressure medication. I'm not anymore because I, I, my addictions are all dealt with. So, but like my blood pressure would be sky high. I was like red, so red. I felt like absolute shit. And I remember when my blood pressure was really high, I can look at my hands and I could tell they would do like this weird pattern. It's crazy. I can't imagine what it feels like to be foodie beauty. I can't imagine. Oh, that's <laughs> huge. It looks like a beef burger. I think they use ground chicken. I thought it was the spicy crispy burgers. Okay. Beauty bite. Mmm. Yum. Ground chicken. Yum. Ground chicken. Ground control to major chicken. Are you mother freaking okay? Do we need to speed her up more? Let me know, you guys. If I ever ate <clears throat> knife with you guys guys before, let me know. What? Booty, I have watched... Oh, gosh, what a place to be paused at. I have watched you eat every meal, every fast food meal. I We've seen it all. We've seen it all. Steffi said, hold on. Miranda is owned by Pepsi. Isn't she boycotting? She's supposed to be... Mm, I think in a vlog. Ooh, that's spicy. Mm. That meat is so good. That meat is so good. So I thought I would share some Kuwaiti um, fast food. Steffi, didn't you say this isn't really considered Kuwaiti? I think I saw that comment. She is a horrible boycotter. She's also supposed to be boycotting Google. No, those aren't corn dogs. Uh, they're mozzarella sticks, like giant mozzarella sticks, I think. Yum. The fries are good. How would you know? Are you actually tasting them? There's a few restaurants who have that like make really good fried chicken here. Knife does fried chicken. Hey, Ferret. No, you didn't. But I highly suggest if you want to see Amberlynn Reed's new vlog, you go back and watch that. I highly suggest. By the way, um, this is also going to be up on Twitter, probably in the, or not Twitter, on YouTube in the morning. So I want to say hi to anybody watching on replay on YouTube. Hello, hello. Good morning. I think this is probably going to go up in the morning for you guys. You didn't miss anything with foodie yet. Um, moaning, food noises. The Amberlynn Reed vlog was, well, the discussion was more interested, interesting than the vlog itself. But anyways, good to see you. Happy Friday. After this mukbang, we're going to go to Twitter and read a few tweets. Pickles. <laughs> mm. Hey, yeah, so... um. Allegro or PQ, I will be live tomorrow. I just don't know what time because I'm going to be decorating our family's car in the afternoon for like a trunk or treat. So I'll be doing that. And then later that evening, we're actually doing the trunk or treat. But if I go live tomorrow, well, when I go live, because I plan on going live at some point, it'll either have to be in the morning 
or like the late morning or later at night. So I'm kind of leaning forward towards a later at night stream. Like I think it would be fun Saturday night maybe to react to like we could catch up with the girls, but maybe we could watch some other people too. I know Sloan just did a documentary on Taryn Manning. I think that might be fun to check out together. I watch a lot of Taryn Manning, like a lot, a lot. Did I tell you that I love the food in Kuwait? Yeah, I'm sure I have. <laughs> yes. Jeez. I'm speeding her ass up. We're going faster. So? So. How are y'all doing today? Hope you're doing okay. Doing better than you. We have plans tomorrow to go shopping. Finally, I think we're better. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I don't think you're better. Babe, I think you want this uh <clears throat> this burger. What? They're you, they're very huge. I don't think I'll be. Did she just burp? Able to eat too. Watch. Did you feel how heavy it is? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously. you know that physically pains her to give away that sandwich. Seriously, um, let me know how you like it. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you speed it up to get through it faster, and it's somehow worse. Now. So, yeah, we have plans tomorrow. Go shopping. For some things for the kitchen, so I can continue my cooking. We have to do top-up groceries because it's been... She has on the screen, what are some kitchen items that she should buy? You need everything. It's been over a week now. We still have some But please make dishes and pots and pans a priority and some silverware. Some things. It's not going to be like a huge grocery order. It's just going to be like getting things I'm out of. But yesterday I replenished all my spices. I need a funnel. You ever try doing uh, filling your spice rack without a funnel? Oh my gosh. I was sneezing all morning. What did she take? Um, what else did I do? Clean the fridge. <laughs> do you mean you finished everything that's in the fridge? Is that what we consider cleaning it? I hate doing it. Oh, and napkins. Can we make napkins a priority, please? You can get the cloth ones so you don't like waste so much paper and all that. Like it just seems wasteful. Just buy a few cloth ones. Keep them washed. Keep them near you. Great idea. Uh, more than the stove. And I usually clean my fridge. Um, oh, in between grocery hauls, like. I don't believe you. Like for me, cleaning the fridge is throwing any old items away, doing a deep clean, washing each shelf with soap and water. For foodie, I think cleaning out the fridge is like eating the remainder of what's in it. Hey, Kiwi girl. Usually because something leaks, like I buy a lot of pickles and olives and somehow the containers just always leak. So I always have to like clean my fridge out. But it's okay, the, the racks come out easily. You're supposed to move your, like, to-go food. Well, you should move it into, like, actual containers, foodie. You don't have any Tupperware or anything? Hey, Ray. Add Tupperware to your list. I used to clean my fridge, like, like when I was in the villa, not very often. It was never really that dirty inside, but...
I'm done. She acts like we didn't see what the villa looked like. Sometimes there looked like there was cat poop on the floor and old food. I'm really trying to take better care of my home because it just helps your mental health. It really does. I know it's really hard to, like, nearly impossible. Some days I'll just do, like, the basics. Make sure, you know, <clears throat> how his cage is spot clean, do the litter, feed the feed the cat, of course. <laughs> um, feed my husband. <laughs> no, um, usually on those days when I'm really struggling, we'll order out. Or, I don't know, I just do the bare minimum garbage, you know, that kind of thing. But I'm really trying to, like, keep everything super clean, as clean as possible. I vacuumed the couch before this video because it was full of cat hair. I have to vacuum, excuse me, like every other day. But we have a really good vacuum. Do you remember the blue pot? Oh my gosh, you just unlocked a memory for me. It was expensive vacuum, but it worked so well. The difference between like a cheap vacuum and an expensive vacuum is night and day. I always used to buy cheap vacuums. And like, it wouldn't be long before they don't work and stop suctioning. They still have vacuum repair bands. Anyway, one thing I do to really motivate myself. I don't know. My vacuum repairman is my dad. That's a minus. Oh. Um, to keep up with my domestic duties. <laughs> oh, spicy. Because I tell myself, like, how lucky I am. Like, how grateful and thankful I am that I can work from anywhere and stay at home and um do my own thing on my own time and yeah but i wouldn't count on it for that much longer i don't know like i said youtube is really cracking down really cracking down so i wouldn't count on, i could just work from any you know work my own hours i could work from anywhere and get paid for it like i just wouldn't count on it i really hope you have other things planned like a plan b i hope you can find other things to do, but like, you're not really employable. I don't know what you're going to do. If you lose your YouTube channel, I don't know what you would do. My job, I make it part of my job to take care of my home, you know? You do? Mm. Amazing matzo sticks with real mozzarella. <clears throat> um, So, I mean, yeah, I feel like I tell myself, I tell myself, you know, I, ha I don't have like a, an actual job that makes me leave the home. Although that might change. <sighs> really? Really? That might change? I may possibly be starting to do some work, but. Really? I feel like even if this is true, I feel like even she knows that her YouTube days, her monetization are numbered. I am. If I do get this, it might allow me to travel here and there too. Mostly through like the Gulf countries. Depending. I cannot tell you what I'll be doing because that would be stupid. How would she have something else going on though? Like, let's think about Foodie Beauty out in the real world getting like a real nine to five job. Um, not saying if you work different hours, you don't have a real job, but do you, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? She would have to take a break every few hours to eat. Just like in my addiction, my addiction got bad. Like I was drinking on the job at one point, right? It's just what our addictions do. So she'd have to feed like every few hours what is she going to do? Roll around on a chair, like through an office? I don't really think she's employable, but that's cool. If she finds like a little side thing that gets her out of the house and away from food, even for like two hours, that could be really good for her. But just know <laughs> that might be coming up. But could she control her rages? Anybody at work who would disagree with her? Like she would accuse them of fat shaming her. If a customer didn't like how she talked to them, she'd accuse them of fat shaming. Then she'd drag their mama and say that the customer initiated or like instigated it. I'm hoping it does happen. 
because it's an, a great opportunity. Mm. So yeah, that's all I can say. I'll be keeping that a bit private. <laughs> as well. Sorry, but she's incapable of keeping things private, FYI. So if this was true, I don't know. It's so juicy. Ground chicken has the potential to be very dry, you know. I love pickles. She would she would be that coworker that steals your Coke Zero out of the employee refrigerator refrigerator that would be her she would steal your lunch like she would be that person mm. the chicken is juicy the pickles are amazing the sauce they use is spicy but whew, it's good i'm not gonna be able to eat the other burger i actually already gave it to salah <laughs> I cut it out. I yelled for him to come get it. I feel like that was just for show. The fact that she had to announce that she doesn't think she could eat the second burger. I feel like her giving it to Salah was just for show. Hey, Joe. All right. Have sweet dreams. Thank you for stopping by. But he has his own meal. He has a uh, chicken and rice. <laughs> Most places here have a standard chicken and rice dish. Even places like Wendy's. Yeah, she supposedly gave away her other burger to Salah, but I think that was just for show. Anyway, that's all I can say about working, but it's an opportunity that came up to me. Um, and it's gone, just like that, just like that. And if I can get it. Wow. But I, 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 I accept, I really appreciate you guys respecting my privacy, a lot of you. But it's not, it's not a binge, you guys. It's not a binge. All that food in 22 minutes. Rose, how do you... Wait. The milk will calm down that. I wish I had... I don't have ground cinnamon. Let's try this. Rice pudding. Mmm. That's good. Vanilla, sweet. Creamy, milky. Aaron, I will never forget my Coke Zero theft. I take that shit very personal. There's nothing like an ice cold soda that you put, at least for me, like if you put it at the top of the fridge or in the back, it gets like that perfect cold. There is nothing worse to me than stealing my Coke Zero. <laughs> I don't care, steal my clothes, steal my money, whatever, please don't steal my money, but do you know what I mean? Like, do not mess with my caffeine. It's still weird to me that rice could be a dessert. But you just need to back off the rice for a while. In dessert, in a dinner, in breakfast, in lunch, for a snack, just for a while. It's so good. So my favorite Middle Eastern desserts are Rosa Lee, um, Mahalabia which is like a creamy dessert. I think with rose water, pistachio. Um, Ali. Azbusa, kanafa. There's so many. Halawa ujubin. Okay, are you done? I'm ready to go to Twitter. I feel like we're watching a giant toddler eat right now. Um, 
stuff home delicious. All right. I'm actually pretty full, so I'll keep this in the fridge. She finishes a meal for 10. I'm actually pretty full. You don't say. You ate enough food for a village. Can last a few days. I didn't finish this. It's huge. <laughs> I think they didn't put enough syrup and now it tastes like electricity. Electricity? Anyway, I guess that's about it. Oh, good. Okay, goodbye. Uh, thanks for having dinner with me as always. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream or video. Bye. Bye. Okay. Let me go to Twitter, you guys. Let me go. We are going to read. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure people have said more by now in like the past hour. So I might, I don't know for a fact, I might be able to come back later and do an updated what Foodie Beauty Twitter is saying. If not, we'll do it tomorrow. Like late at night, we'll do a one big update. Okay, hold on. There was something interesting where somebody named Ramey on Twitter is making like documents and reporting foodie. And these documents are pretty detailed, but in one of them, it says that she, I don't know if her car got taken or why she doesn't have it. The Kia, remember she had told us that she still has the Kia in Canada. It says it was returned and she's still making monthly payments on it, but we'll get to that tweet in a minute. So shenanigan said, Chantel's back to eating fast food again. Literally, no one is surprised. Nobody is. I'm going to try and make this bigger for you guys. I don't know how it's going to work or if it's going to work. Nope. Damn it. Well, I tried. Just trust me, what I'm reading is on the screen if you can't see it. I promise. Okay. Oh, this has nothing to do with foodie, but did you guys see that PK and Dorit are Dorit are separated? So supposedly PK's been living in a hotel and staying in a hotel and like people have seen him. And the rumor is, because I love some good celebrity gossip and tea and conspiracies. I don't know if you guys know this, but Mauricio and Kyle are also separated. And if you've ever watched The Real Housewives, it always seemed like Mauricio and Dorit had some sort of like chemistry. It was undeniable. So people are thinking that Mauricio and Dorit are together and it's a whole thing. He's also been spotted. Mauricio's also been spotted holding hands with his um, dancing with his stars partner. So I don't know, maybe he's just living his best single life. But like, I thought this was interesting because when I watch the show, I, I need to catch up. But when I used to watch the show, I always thought Dory and Mauricio seemed to have this thing. Like, I don't know what it was, but they had some like sparks. It just seemed like there was more to it. Oh, this is the document, you guys. Behind in chat. Hi, Tony. Stuffy, what happened to a burger? Okay, sorry. I was catching up with you guys. All right. So this is the, you guys really have to zoom in. Or what I suggest right now, take a screenshot really fast with your phone, your iPad, whatever, and then like blow it up because we're going to be talking about this. So Ramey has been reporting Chantal like everywhere in detail, has like this document. They actually tagged me in something, um, a document to go check out. But like I now that I know enough about Marty's community, I know not to click on links. So I'm not clicking on it, but I know an official document has been made. So Ramey said, from mobile version, yes, her auto details, thanks to Kiwi Farms, Foodie Beauty, Foodie Beauty Animal Abuser. And then Misty retweeted it and tagged Yabba and said, there's the info on the Kia. Did you see where it says returned, but still making payments? And then they said 20K a month and not even a car to show for it. This is why she doesn't want to go back to Canada. She doesn't even have a car to go back to. And then if you look, it says that it was returned. So I don't know. She lies about everything. It's hard to say. People in the comment section don't seem to be buying this necessarily. They're like, it looks like somebody just created this, which they did create it. It's a document they created. But 
I kind of believe them because their investigative work and everything that they've done has uh, been so detailed. I don't know how else to describe it, but that. I have been following her. Oh, really, Ray? It's probably It probably got repoed in her bankruptcy. Maybe. Maybe that's why she doesn't want to return to Canada. So I thought these pictures were shocking. Do you remember that one? It was like a video or was it a live stream where Foodie Beauty came live like Freddy Krueger? If you look at this, look at how skinny she looks there compared to now. Now she can't tie an apron around her. An apron, I think, that's made to fit up to 60 or 58 inches around. She doesn't fit in that. But look at here. It's wild that she looks skinny in comparison. And Nana Spike T shared this and said, sorry, but her delusion gets to me. How can she ignore what's right in front of her? Thankfully, I'm smaller than I was last year. Sadly, foodie beauty can't say the same. This should be a wake-up call, but nah, keep binging. It's October 2022, and then that's her October 2023. It's wild to me. The difference, right, to, right, Tony? Did she get caught driving under the influence? She, yeah, well, not legally, but there was times where she had been definitely partaking early in the earlier in the day and then filming herself driving later on there was times where she clearly seemed like it there was a time where she forgot she was driving or in a car clearly and pulled out i think her thc vape and took a puff so there's definitely those those clips are out there you just have to look for it they're out there though okay so this was something that Alex Shook shared, and I think it was worth listening to, and a lot of people are talking about it on Twitter. Holly Go Heavy shared it and said, Foodie Beauty is pissed as she knows the only content she has to offer is overeating. Live streams, couples channel, and touring cities gets zero views. So her raging about people wishing she goes back to Canada is her wishing for more money and knowing she's breaking terms of service with her eating disorder. And then Alex Shook shared this and said, is Foodie Beauty in danger of being demonetized regarding community tab rage? So let's check this it is out. So people aren't in sense. Foodie Beauty is raging on her community tab again, and you'll never believe why. All it is is justification on why she should continue to eat copious amounts of junk food. People have been wondering if these new terms and conditions on the website will affect Foodie and her eating videos. She points out that eating on camera is not specifically targeted in the new TOS. But this is a much more nuanced issue. Foodie sits on a fine line, and I wouldn't be so sure if I were her. She continues to clarify that she's not binging on video, just behind the scenes, I guess. And nobody is allowed to say what is a binge and what isn't, according to Chantal. And that includes moderators of big social media platforms. She wants to be a victim so bad. Did it go over Foodie's head why this is being implemented? It is so people aren't incentivized by monetization to continue patterns of disordered eating instead of getting help. Maybe Chantal should consider doing something about her miserable life, but right now she is encouraged not to. Eating on camera brings money. Getting help doesn't exactly what YouTube is trying to avoid. Booty Beauty is raging on her. What do you guys think? What do you think? All right, Aaron, I'm checking Discord now. But it says rented but returned but still in payments. I don't drive, so I wasn't sure. I don't know. Hold on. Aaron um, definitely thinks that is suspicious. Can I read this, Aaron? I'm not going to read anybody's messages in detail, by the way. I'm just reading what I don't think anybody would care me saying out loud. Okay. Can I read it, Aaron? Give me a confirmation. I love Alex, too. I need to watch more of Alex. <laughs> it's the same as Hungry Fat Chick. So... I went back to Hungry Fat Chick's channel. I've never really watched her. I just know a lot of people that watch her, if that makes sense on here. Yes, read it. Okay. Um, and I read her community tab where she said, basically, I think that's where I read it, where she has to keep eating because she started her channel doing that. And she said that she was silly to think that she could, you know, 
make money doing something different. And that makes me so sad. Can someone please add me to the Discord? I thought I did it yesterday, but I didn't. Yes, yeah, so reach out to me privately, Tony, um, and I will get you that link. Okay, so Aaron said, regarding the car, the details that Raimi put up, Aaron said, my Sisfish radar is on with this one. Although car pictured looks exactly like her car, it's not hers. Chantel's car had the very bottom lip of her front bumper missing. I wish I could find the picture someone took that was posted everywhere of her out in the wild. I remember the car was parallel parked in front of, I think, the Jamaican patty shop. In that paralleled parked picture, it's very visible to see the bottom part of the front bumper missing. I'm sure there's older pictures floating around of her car I'd love to find. Very interesting find. Thank you for sharing, Ray. So with this, I'm just going to put it on the shelf as a foodie beauty conspiracy that's interesting. And I'm going to keep looking for more updates, but I'm not taking it as fact yet. That's how I'm going to view things. Sometimes when it comes to foodie beauty and like conspiracy things happen, conspiracy theories or things pop up like this, we just put it on a shelf and like we'll revisit it later and see if any more proof comes out. That's pretty much where I'm at with it. Yeah, she hit a raccoon. I know she used to hit animals and like think it was the funniest thing. I will never understand that. Okay, so like I said, everybody was sharing Alex's tweet. Nothing but love said, perfectly said. She will continue stuffing herself as long as she gets paid to do it. True. But I don't feel, I truly feel like her channel, I'm not wishing this upon her. I'm not, like I know she's happy I'm demonetized right now on YouTube. I'm not wishing this upon her, but sometimes in addictions, we have to learn the hard way, right? Like I lost my job when I was drinking and doing things I shouldn't. I don't think YouTube is going to pay her much longer <clears throat> to eat the amount of food that she eats and to moan over large amounts of food. I don't think that they're going to keep paying her to do that. And I think eventually one of her rages, YouTube is going to catch before she deletes it and she's going to be in a lot of trouble. It's just a feeling I have. I feel like YouTube is really, like I said, I don't know. I just see more and more people getting demonetized for things, new rules. I really feel like they're cracking down and they want a family-friendly platform. Okay, so let's read a few more tweets, you guys. Let's see. Oh, P.I. caught that right, or what was it? There was food on Foodie's nose in one clip. Hold on. I want to see if I can find it. Oh, wait. So you guys remember Foodie's community post novel slash rage? Chantal's French lover's restraining order said, you slept with a natter after the Sam's Bar Lounge videos. You had natter on camera after the Sam's Bar Lounge videos. You said you were happy Dee Dee was being abused. No one pretended natter was a good guy but you. You are trying to gaslight us. And I thought that was really well said. Okay, so P.I. shares this clip of foodie and pi says you can see in the video that after she's done with her meal there is no crumb on her nose then right before she breaks out the donuts there's a crumb on her nose it looks as if she already ate some of the donuts she's so weird i believe it okay let's see all right let's try these donuts all right so first up we have a cute so she probably got like six donuts <laughs> and then she ate what she wanted and then left three like perfectly in the box. Well, the, actually, if you saw the donuts, they were kind of smeared and moved around like somebody had already stuck their hands on them. So I guess maybe I believe she probably broke into them before she even, you know what I mean? Okay. Milk tea said impossible to tell. Wait, let's see. Why did I retweet this? Okay. Oh, because BB barbecue chicken, BBQ, barbecue chicken shared this screenshot of foodie with that big thing on her face. It doesn't even really look like a pimple. Kind of, but it looks really painful. And barbecue chicken said, how long has that thing been on her cheek or how long has it been there? A milk tea shares a screenshot saying, impossible to tell exactly with how she sets the filters to glitter. But you could see the filter catching on something as far back as her relationship story time, September 29th. 
Yikes. Hold on. I want to look at what people have to say about this. It looks painful. Maybe it's another boil. Uh-oh, there's my phone. Hold on. Okay. Barbecue chicken said, wow, I didn't know that could have been that long. Someone said, pretty sure it's a cyst that she keeps messing with. I had something very similar and had to have it removed. Damn it, Amber said, I definitely thought whatever it is on her face was on my phone screen and tried to wipe it off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Janet said, in my opinion, she has acne rosacea and the constant use of those Lush products so heavily fragranced are wreaking havoc on her skin. Use unscented products or don't, Chantal. Keep doing you and destroy your skin. Love it for you. Nadia said it's been there for a while now. Lush and dirty CPAP isn't helping it either. Utah Pug said right where the CPAP goes probably irritates and picks at it every day. I don't know. Whatever it is, it looks painful. That's all I know. That is all I know. All right, you guys, I am going to try... I'm going to keep an eye on Foodie Beauty Twitter, and I'm going to keep resharing things, and I'm going to try and come back a little bit, not a little bit, a lot later tonight. Right now, it's six for me, so like a lot later. Um, if I can't, I know for a fact we will be doing a late night stream tomorrow night on here, but you guys will see me somewhere on some platform uploading an update about something. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Have a great day, great evening, wherever you are, you guys. I'm going to go for now, right? I'm sorry. I have to end it for right now, but I will try and come back later. If there's, if people, if anything interesting happens and there's enough stuff that's like cool to talk about on Twitter, I think we should do a late night stream. I think it would be fun to listen to some goose chuck too. <laughs> All right, you guys, but if I can't, we'll definitely be doing a late night stream Saturday night, which is tomorrow on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye you guys.